game development on its own is a lot of hard work, especially when you are a solo game dev which does not have the resources of big AAA companies or the capabilities these provide in terms of manpower. As a solo dev, everything you do is your own stuff, even if you might get some help here and there without having any clue if you or your work will even be a mild indie success. Playtesting and getting feedback on your game is a great indicator if your game will come out fine, but that in the end still resides in the hands of the players which will play or even pay for your game. Might even say that the worst part is not even game development itself, because after you actually create the title and all seems fine, you have to worry about actually distributing your game, as that is the reason all game devs do any work at all, for users to enjoy their work and create entertainment through their creativity and hard work. So we reach this point where you have created all the concept art for your game, the game assets, and you even have a working game. But now you have to decide on what platform your game will be published, this having more impact on your game than even the game itself. The obvious option for most will be App, of course, Steam, a platform which everyone that has used a PC for gaming in the past 20 years used for their gaming experiences or even is highly familiar with the platform. Steam offers a lot of publicity as it is currently one of the largest and most broad used game publishing platforms. Other than this, Steam also has a way of pushing your game out to players using the store page, which helps you with getting your game out there. Today, we will be publishing my game, Conundrum Catacombs, onto Steam, and we will go through this step by step with a budget of only $150 for all the costs related to launching a game on Steam. This will cover the Steam store page art, trailers, and the $100 publishing fee Steam has for getting a game onto their platform. If you have not watched any of my previous devlogs, Conundrum Catacombs is a fairly simple 2D puzzle game with a slight adventurous approach of the user having only a torch to provide vision for them. This torch in change slowly fading away, creating a scenario in which the players have to think on their feet and act fast and methodically. The first step when publishing a game on Steam is not what most people would think. You can create a Steam store page for your game and keep it running for years without even a working build for the game. So obviously the first thing which you are going to need is going to be art for the Steam page. Steam has a pretty deep documentation when it comes to this, on the Steamworks developers forum. Here you are able to find all the images and art required for your game to have its own Steam page, as well as all the resolutions required for this. The platform uses a system called Capsules. You need a capsule for pretty much everything you see on any game currently present on Steam. Be that the header capsule, which is what represents the game on Steam store page directly, or any other way in which the users has any view of your game. As I am in no way an artist and would never be able to pull off something which even resembles good concept art, I used Midjourney, a tool which creates images based on text prompts. I used AI to create the basic concept art for my game and then I went on to Fiverr to find some artists which would be able to give my game some personality. On to Fiverr, I found a really talented seller called Fapinta which was interested in working on this project. I made a short document where I explained what I needed for the game and asked Fapinta to create me the header capsule for the required size. A couple of days later, upon receiving the header capsule sketch, I was extremely impressed and of course, I asked for a custom offer to be made for this project. The total sum which would be required for Fapinta to create all of the art was about $160. And if you remember, our budget was only $150. This was something I could not afford in any way. So, I asked Fapinta to give me a price for only the sketch, which in my opinion looked very good already. Upon some negotiating, we got to the price of $25. Now that I had Fapinta's initial sketch in my possession, and I was able to use it, I got to work creating the rest of the Steamworks digital artwork required for the Steam store page to be up and running. I got to work, following along with what information I could find on the Steam developers forum, and using the sketch made by Fapinta, as well as the AI generated art I previously made. This was not a tremendous amount of work as most of it was simply mix and matching text and resizing the already existing images. Upon getting this done, it was time to actually get a Steamworks developer account up and running. Upon reading all the legal information before continuing with this, 
and adding all the new information from my part to get access to these features, I pressed continue. After this, I was greeted with some information which I cannot share, but alas, it is all just some simple terminology and NDAs. This was all pretty easy, the process being immediate and my status changing from unaffiliate to my full legal name. And now all we had to do was actually pay the $100 fee and start setting up our game store page. The price ended up being 88.99 euros, which is roughly around $100. So with that in mind, we now have only $25 left to set this up from our initial budget of $150. After paying the fee, we have to set up a way to receive payments, so our game can actually make money and we can e legally own that money. I had to call my bank to get this information as what I could find online was pretty lackluster. After sorting out the details and setting everything up, all we had to do was wait for the W8 ban form to get validated to handle all the texts. Considering I am not a US citizen, this will take anywhere between 2 to 7 days. While this was happening, I decided to make a trailer for the game and continue the work on the game itself. For the trailer, I gathered some video footage of the game as raw gameplay, added some music which I ended up paying $11.19 for, getting the overall budget we have remaining down to $13.01 from the $150, as well as creating some transitions which I found to be very cool and stating when the game will launch and on what platforms, hopefully Steam and itch.io. Coming back to Steam, I received an email from Valve asking for some documents to prove my residency address, as apparently the third-party tax provider which gathers inf tax information could not gather this information, so I replied giving them a photo of some address proof. At this point, I took a trip to the mountains with my family and girlfriend, which was a great way to relieve some stress and get a clear picture as to what to do with the game. An added bonus was that on top of the mountain we had no signal, so I was pretty much technology free for at least a couple of days. To my great surprise, when I got back from the trip, Steam had approved my account and we were ready to set up the Steam page itself. Now, all that was left was actually creating the store page and publishing it so that everyone can see it. After creating the game ID, I was greeted with a lot more art that was needed other than what I initially thought necessary from my research on the Steamworks Digital Assets page. So of course, I got to work creating the rest of the art assets. Then I uploaded all of them onto Steam and linked them to my Steam page. I set a launch date to June 2023 and made it so that when the game launches, a 10% off discount will be applied. I also made a GIF for the Steam description part. I always liked how this looked on other games, so I thought for sure I wanted to add it to my game as well. I then asked ChatGPT to create me some catchy descriptions for the game, which I then of course modified to fit my needs and added my personal touch to the text. After this was all done, I followed some tips from CodeMonkey's video how to launch a game on Steam after release which I highly recommend watching if you are planning on releasing on Steam. Link will be in the description and in my case I made sure to clearly specify what the user has to do in a clear and nice way. I also added my trailer to the Steam page and made some screenshots and added those in as well. Overall I am pretty happy with how it all turned out and found the experience quite satisfying. Considering the store presence part was now done, all we had to do again is simply wait for this to get approved by Steam. Again, this taking anywhere between 2-3 to three business days, but I was one step closer to actually publishing my game. Ok guys, so I just published the game and Steam said it's on the main Steam browser on the platform. This is where I am right now, so let's see, let's search for it. Conundrum Catacombs, and there it is. <laughs> that looks great. I love it. Okay, the, the trailer, everything seems to be going fine. Got the screenshots, the date, the release date, me as the publisher, amazing. Make sure you wishlist this. <laughs> I'll 
put a, probably a card up here in the corner somewhere and you just click it, go to the Steam Store page and wishlist and the link will also be in the description. This is the GIF, how it all looks together. Oh my god, this is looking very nice. This is everything I... The YouTube channel, the Discord server, you can also join this server if you want. This is looking great. <laughs> Oh my god, I love how this turned out. Everything seems to be going very nice for this, so... Thanks for watching guys, and stay clear of the darkness. <laughs>